Hey, I'm Patrick, and you're watching Disney Channel. Nailed it. Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome to DCOM Week here on Thingma Vlogs. Now, if you do not know what a DCOM is, it is a Disney Channel original movie. Or what I'd like to call the best movies ever. Pretty much. And the reason why we're celebrating DCOM week is because this coming weekend, Memorial Day weekend in 2016, Disney Channel is celebrating their 100th premiere of their newest DCOM, which will premiere in June, but for Memorial Day weekend, they're airing a full marathon of their 51 most popular DCOMs. And that's a lot of DCOMs. And while I was researching all these DCOMs, I came across some pretty interesting facts that I wanted to share with you guys because I didn't even know them, and they're kind of hilarious. So first off, as you guys may know, one of my most favorite DCOMs is the 13th year, which is about a boy who is turning 13, but he's also turning into a mermaid, or merman, because his mom was a mermaid, because that's normal. So fun fact, in one of the scenes, Cody is at a water fountain drinking a ton of water because he's becoming a merman, and there's a ton of people waiting in line behind him, and who is third person in line at the water fountain? It is none other than a little Kristen Stewart. Yes, little, little Bella, Bella Swan. Twilight Kristen Stewart. And you know why she was on it? Because her mom was the script supervisor of the DCOM. Crazy. Have you guys ever seen the DCOM Smart House? Well, that was actually directed by LeVar Burton, who you may also know as a narrator of Reading Rainbow. Yes, he took some time off to stop reading rainbows to direct Smart House. Okay. So one of the most popular DCOM series was actually Halloween Town, which spanned four different DCOMs and become such a cult hit that over in St. Helens, Oregon, where they actually filmed Halloween Town, they welcome tourists and have a month-long Spirit of Halloween Town festival in October, which they recreate some of the sets, including the giant pumpkin in the middle of the town square. That sounds like a blast. Also in Halloween Town, apparently they don't know how to spell Calabar. If you've ever seen the sequel to Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge, Calabar is spelled with a K in the title, but if you watch to the end of the credits, his character is spelled with a C. So like, which one is it? If you've ever seen Cheetah Girls 2, the movie starts off in New York and follows the girls' travels to Spain, but, fun fact, the whole movie was filmed in Spain. Even the New York scenes, all in Spain. And bonus, Cheetah Girls 2 was the one Cheetah Girls that was actually directed by Kenny Ortega, who directed all the High School Musicals and Descendants. And Hocus Pocus, but that's not a decom. And Newsies. So many. So good. Speaking of High School Musical, in High School Musical 2, there is an amazing Academy Award winning number performed by Zac Efron called Bet On It, and it's so good, but did you know it took six days to film that number? Six days! Film that one number. But oh, was it worth it? Well, those are just some of the interesting facts that came upon while researching DCOMs. Let me know if you guys know any more interesting facts. I know like so many people played in DCOMs that are like big now, like Hayden Panettiere was in a DCOM and like Brie Larson was in a DCOM, so many things. 